Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are talking new releases and sneak peeks. So I'm going to jump right on in and just move over. So the first thing I have to talk about is Madage Beauty are sneak peeking another launch. And uh, all I have here so far are these three pictures. So this there's when fire and water combine, when air and water meet, and when earth and water meet. So I'm guessing it's something to do with natural elements, but these are the only pictures I have for now. I see green, green makes me happy. So uh, keep your eyes peeled and as soon as I have more information on that, I will let you know. So moving on, we have Terra Moons Cosmetics and they are launching three new black based extreme multichromes and from left to right here we have Hyperion um, which is a bronze, pink, green, gold multichrome and the one in the middle is Centauri and that is red, orange, bronze and green multichrome and finally on the right is Blood Moon and it says here black, red, orange and plum multichrome and they will be launching on April the 16th at 7pm EST and do we have any prices here? No, I don't have any prices I'm afraid these do look very beautiful so yeah I thought these were definitely worth a mention and moving on what do we have next? I can't find my little mouse icon right so next up we have BH Cosmetics and they have released three new palettes. They are the 80s, the 90s and the noughties. They are Decade Remix Dance Palettes. I love the 80s and the 90s especially and that's my era anyway. <laughs> I grew up, I was a, a kid in the 80s and 90s, kid, teenager. And uh, I think these are absolutely gorgeous, especially the 80s. The 80s palette is beautiful. I don't have a price here. Hmm. Nope, I don't have a price here. And they are also releasing a Remix Dance Brush Beat. And it is 10 vegan face and eye brushes complete with disco ball inspired handles and an iridescent glitter bag. Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I love this collection. I think this is fantastic. Anything 80s, 90s themed, I'm pretty much guaranteed to love because, yep, that was uh, my time. <laughs> Showing my age a bit there. Yes, this is definitely a collection I'm interested in. So yeah, let me know if uh, if you're planning on picking any of these up and if so, which ones? So next up, Sample Beauty have released their plush palette and it is already available now. You can get it on Beauty Bay for 18 pounds. That's British pounds. It contains a mix of foils, duochromes and mattes. I do love some of the shades in here. It's not a palette that I would be picking up, just purely this. There look to be too many neutrals in there for me. And uh, I do have a couple of Sample Beauty palettes and I love the formula of the eyeshadows. I do have to say that. So if this is a color story that speaks to your heart, um, provided it's the same formula as the, the palettes I already have, I have the original the equalizer um that's wonderful so if it's the same formula as that then uh, then it's going to be good so yeah are any of you going to be picking this up let me know and moving on so next up is a very exciting sneak peek from menagerie cosmetics and they're releasing a collab palette um I am pretty certain that it's a collab with Annette's Makeup Corner. And if I'm right, then I have to have it. 
So Annette is wonderful. I love her. Um, she is a very colourful girl. Her channel is pretty much a review channel. You'll see a lot of indie brands on there. And yeah, if you like colourful makeup, you're going to love her. I'm pretty sure that if you're subscribed to me, then you definitely know who she is. Um, but if you don't, for any strange reason, I will link her channel in the description box below so you can go and check her out. Um, but yeah, this, I'm so, so hoping it is Annette because it's going to be the best collab. I'm so excited. As soon as I have any more information on this, I will update you guys. Um, but until then, I'm just going to silently be excited. Um, but yeah. Okay, so next up is a brand I haven't heard of before. It's Lucid Makeup. And they are releasing their Flow Child eyeshadow palette. Um, this is launching 15th of April, 10 a.m. CST. So it has 12 shades and that consists of nine mattes and three shimmers. It's a cute palette. Um, for me, there's way too many neutrals in there. However, for someone who likes neutrals and a pop of colour or if you're just wanting to venture into colour, this is the kind of palette that, that would be good for someone that's dipping their toes, so to speak. Um, it does look beautiful. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a mention because um, it does look very pretty. So if any of you have any experience with Lucid Makeup, um, let me know if you know the brand, if you know what their formula's like. Let me know because, uh, yeah, I definitely want to keep my eye on them. Okay, so next up is a very exciting launch and it is Artitude Cosmetics and she is launching her Duochrome Cake It Liners and they look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So there are five different colours. We have Addiction, which is a dark blue with very slight hints of a purple shift. And then we have Compulsion, which is a very prominent light blue to lilac shift. Next up is Passion, which is hints of red, bronze, gold, deep purple, very shifty. Then Temptation is golds, bronzes, hints of pink and green it's very shifty and lastly we have obsession it's a snake green with a very slight hint of yellow gold so they are launching on the 13th of april and they will retail for eight pounds 50 each that's british pounds um they contain three grams and there will be a launch offer for the full five bundle for £38. So that will save you some money. Um, these look beautiful. I have quite a few of Artitude Cosmetics Cake It liners. I love them. You will have definitely seen them featured on my channel. Um, so yeah, very, very excited for these. And she's also releasing eyelashes and uh, they look beautiful. They faux mink, but they're really, really fluffy. But yeah, I'm very excited for that anyway. Um, so yes, if you are a fan of water activated liners, check these out. I can highly recommend everything from Artitude Cosmetics. It's a brand I love. So moving on is another brand that I haven't heard of, but now I'm very interested. So they are releasing their Aurora palette and will retail for 39 US dollars. Um, it's currently a pre-order item and it will ship out three to four weeks after your purchase. The colours are inspired by celestial lights and the night sky. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So if any of you have tried anything from Flawless Cosmetics, please do let me know because this is such a beautiful palette. And if the formula's good, they're a brand that I'm definitely gonna wanna keep my eye on. Because to come out with a color story like this, 
that's my kind of brand. Next up is another brand that I hadn't heard of before and it is Golden Queen's Beauty and they have released their 1994 eyeshadow palette um, so the shades range from pigmented neutral everyday colours to bright and bold colours there are mattes and shimmers it's available now for 35 US dollars this is cute so it does give me vibes of it's a certify palette I'm trying to think which one um, but yeah I'm getting getting the same kind of vibes it looks beautiful um, Again, I have no idea what the formula is like, so if you do, please let me know, um, because I'm intrigued. So last week I showed you the sneak peek of the Widow Witch Lashes Adams palette. So we saw the front of the palette. I got very excited. We now have the inside of the palette, and I can completely see where the colours have come from. So half of the palette is inspired by the Adams Family 1964 TV series black and white colour scheme. And the second half they focused on the shades of the 1991 film. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. I love the Adams Family. I grew up loving the Adams Family. Morticia Adams. I think at one point I had dyed my hair black, I wore all black, um, same kind of makeup, I wanted to be Morticia Adams. Um, obviously times have changed, I'm quite happy being Steph now, um, but yeah, I loved, or I still do, I love the Adams Family. So this will be available on its own and in bundles and I've had a look through the comments and apparently it is going to be available in about two weeks. I have my eye on this. So let's see what we have next. So next up is yet another brand that I hadn't heard of. This is Magic Mondays and they are launching their Oracle Palette Volume 1. There's 28 shades of intense pigments. It's a mix of matte and shimmers. It will retail for 52 US dollars. Um, it is available now for pre-order. Palettes will be shipped from mid-May to end of June. This is beautiful. I absolutely love the look of this. Um, I think I've pretty much got this whole colour story in my Be Perfect and Stacey Marie Carnival Love Tahiti palette. For $52, um, it would be a bit on the steep side for me anyways because I then have to take into consideration the cost of shipping and also of customs. Um, so yes, it's not one I'm going to be picking up. However, I, th I think it is beautiful. It's an absolutely gorgeous colour story. So yeah, I think this is really beautiful. Let me know what you think. What do you think of it? Have any of you tried anything from Magic Mondays? I love the name. Yeah, let me know if you're going to be picking this up, if you know anything about the formula, the brand. Let me know, because I'm definitely interested in the brand. I definitely want to keep my eye on them. So let's move on to the next. So next up we have another palette that is coming soon from yet another brand that I hadn't heard of before. This is Otaku Baby. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, they are an anime and gamer cosmetics brand, which uh, I know a lot of my friends will, will love. So this is their Sacred Love eyeshadow palette and it is inspired by one of the brand favourite Inuyasha. Um, I'm so sorry if I butcher any of these names. I more than likely will. So apologies in advance. Um, but this features OC's Mika, Mika and Kayla as Inuyasha and Kagome. Kagome? 
I'm so sorry. So this palette is part of the manga series that include Slay, Kira and The Contract. There are no glitters in this palette. Um, it features more earthy and neutral colours and it is coming soon. I love the packaging. So yeah, I can see this being quite popular. Anime and gamer cosmetics brand. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this brand. This isn't a colour story for me. However, I can appreciate its beauty. And by the sounds of it, from the way they've said no glitters, I'm guessing some of their other palettes contained glitters. Um, so yes, if you are not a fan of glitters, this doesn't contain glitters. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I'm very intrigued by the brand. Definitely going to be keeping my eye on this brand. So next up, I had to mention i recently discovered this brand they are a new brand that started in 2021 and this is candy pie cosmetics so they have lashes and candy liners which are water activated liners already on their site and they have released this brow candy it's a brow soap love it um as any of you that know me will know i i don't have any brows <laughs> my own brows are pretty much non-existent i have to draw mine on so this is not a product for me but i did really want to mention it so i know a lot of you would be interested in in brow products so uh yeah this is a brand that i'm definitely keeping my eye on they just give off a really nice vibe so yeah let me know if you're going to be uh checking this out but definitely do look them up because, uh, like I said, they just give off such a lovely vibe. So yes, moving on. Oh my god, this is so cute. So next up is Metamorphosis. And they have released their Lily Croaks collection. They're an animal-inspired brand. I love that. I'm animal mad for any of you that don't know. I have a house full of pets. I love them. Um, so the Lily Croaks collection consists of an eyeshadow palette. Look at that packaging. I love it. I love it. That's so beautiful. Um, so anyway, the eyeshadow palette consists of mattes and shimmers and retails for $19.99. That's US dollars. And also a makeup brush set. Um, I don't have a picture of the makeup brush set. However, that also retails for $19.99 US dollars. And you can get the whole collection for $34.99 US dollars again. And it's available now. And I have here, you can use code HOTSPOT to get some money off. So if you are thinking of picking this up, then... Uh, I'll uh, pop the code along next to the brand name in the description box so that you can check that out. But this is so cute. This is so, so cute. I really, really want this. We shall see. So I'm going to move on before I talk myself into getting it. <laughs> so next up is Haunting How Beauty. We did have the sneak peek of the paint pot liner um, last week. However, now I have some more pictures and we have the Oceanids Multi-Chrome Cream Eyeshadow and that retails for eight US dollars. It shifts from deep blue teal to purple and it is eyes, lips and cheek safe looks very cute and then we have the fortune teller split color paint pot liners and i think these are gorgeous and um, these retail for 12 us dollars they contain an ounce of product so yeah you, you get a lot for your money there um so and finally we have the look into my crystal ball eyeshadow quad and this quad contains two mattes and two duochromes. It is limited edition and retails for 28 US dollars. 
it's cute it is cute i'm not really a quad kind of person i prefer bigger palettes um but this does look really cute so yeah let me know if uh if you're going to be picking up anything from this collection so moving on to another very exciting launch this is lois cosmetics i have some more information we have swatches of four shades that black is intense i love all of the shades so far and the brush set green handles if any of you know me at all i'm i'm green mad absolutely green mad i love green i love everything about this the palette i will 100 percent be getting um maybe the brushes We'll have to wait and see maybe not the whole set i'm hoping that they will be sold individually as well um because there's definitely a couple i want to try out i haven't tried any of lois cosmetics brushes yet but i really really want to i have both of the palettes that she already has out and i love them i they're just they're fantastic it's such an amazing formula the gone rogue palette is my favorite purely because it's the most colourful and I'm a colourful girl and her liquid eyeshadows are they're amazing too I have two shades so I have the shades Kingdom and Throne and I love them they're beautiful on their own or over black liner to make a, a shiny wing anyway I'm getting off off topic here so this new collection will be launching on the 28th of April. So yeah, Lois Cosmetics is a brand that I highly recommend. Amazing quality and she is just such a lovely person. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting the palette. And fingers crossed a couple of brushes. So the final mention of this week is Millennial Beauty. Millennial Beauty. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Um, and they have released their Indica eyeshadow palette. I love it. This interests me a lot. Millennial Beauté, I think. <laughs> um, I had a look at their website and they have some nice products. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be checking them out some more. This color story is beautiful. I love it and I know that they are a brand where it's um like cannabis sativa infused yeah I really wanted to mention this is such a beautiful little palette beautiful I'm definitely interested so yeah if any of you've tried anything from millennial beauty millennial beauty I'm going to call it millennial beauty and if I'm wrong I'm sorry um yeah, if any of you have tried anything from them please do let me know because i am very intrigued i love the look of this palette i don't have a price here and uh, clearly i didn't write that down when i went a look in um because yeah i did head to the site and i could have written it down but i didn't so that is it for this week's new releases and sneak peeks i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you're new around here then i hope you'll consider sticking around i am a lover of all things makeup especially colorful makeup and a huge supporter of indie brands so if that sounds like something you can vibe with then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.